and they don't take radiography. The dental radiograph allows indirect vision to the dentition and supporting structures and provides standardization of intracanal procedures. Therefore, the radiograph is an important basic radiographic concepts. X-rays are similar to light in that both travel in a straight line until deflected or absorbed. The radiograph is a shadow image representing differences in the density of objects in the X-ray path. The size, shape, and contrast of the shadow image are subjected to many distortions since they are depending on the physical properties of the object through which the X-ray passes, the radiation source, and the film on which the image is recorded. Suggestions for good endodontic radiography. The incisal edge of the tooth should be parallel to the edge of the film. The epices of the teeth should be near the center of the film. This is important because it will give me a very good view to the periapical region and see certain uh, abnormalities or uh, in, uh, variations like this lateral canal or this uh, poorly obturated central incisor. Number three, complete diagnosis of the teeth and surrounding structures. We can see here that this lesion is very evident, very clear, and this is a case of gemination. How to obtain a good radiograph? First of all, proper placement of film in the patient's mouth. Second, correct angulation of the, can of the cone in relation to the film and oral structures. Third, correct exposure time. And fourth, proper developing technique. The bisection angle technique here, this X-ray technique depends on the bisecting angle between the tooth and the X-ray film. The X-ray beam will be 90 degrees on the bisecting angle. This will ensure that minimum distortion of the image happens uh, on the film. Of course, the angulation of the X-ray uh, beam has to be 60 degrees in the upper anterior teeth, 45 degrees in the upper premolar teeth, and 30 degrees in the upper molar teeth. For the lower teeth, it is either 0 or minus 10. When the patient uh, holds the, the uh, film, sometimes he pushes the film uh, a lot and distorts the X-ray film. This will make the palatal of the upper six very long and the, the uh, buckles, buckle roots very short. It's important that we tell the patient that this is wrong. A better way is, is by using the plastic film holder, whereby the film is always parallel to the tooth.
and this is what we call the paralleling technique. The buckle object rule here, it's very, this rule is very important so, uh, so that we understand which is, uh, which structure is nearer to us and which structure is further from us. We can do that by shifting the cone, X-ray cone, either distally or mesially. For example, if I shift mesially, here, my yeah, the, the the most mesial canal on the on the uh, film will be the palatal. Then comes the buccal. But if I shift the to the distal, it will be a different story. The most mesial is the buccal, and then palatal. Factors that affect the quality of the radiograph and its interpretation. First of all, the rubber dam holder. If we use the metal rubber dam holder, this might interfere with my X-ray because it uh, affects the X-ray um, path to the film. Automated processing radiography. This gives me a clear picture. It shortens the time needed to process the radiograph and is fully automated. Film magnification. In cases whereby I've got lateral canals and controversy to which area is the cause of this large lesion, magnification will be very helpful. Clarity of X-ray by using intraoral sensors. When I've got such a big lesion and retreatment, I will be very happy after a year to see the uh, bone trabeculae invading this lesion, and the and the clarity of the picture is very evident. What to see in a radiograph? It's important that we take a diagnostic X-ray because we have to know the status of my tooth before I start working. For example, this tooth. This tooth has a very severe extensive external root resorption, which really is contraindicated to do endo to it. Here, this uh, carious lesion is going to make a perforation, and in the apical region, there is sclerosis. So it's important that I see the, the value of the uh, tooth to be endodontically treated before I start. Sclerosis of the root canal. The distal canal is fully sclerosed in, in, for half the length, and the mesial canal is sclerosed in the, in the coronal area with a very big lesion here. Anastomosis between canals, you can see that there is an anastomosis between the buccal and the palatal canal in the apical region to join and make one canal. Digital relies on electronic detection of X-ray generated image which is processed and shown on a computer screen. Advantages, it reduces exposure time, increases speed, possibility of digital enhancement, storage is very easy, 
ease of transmit, uh, transmissibility, elimination of manual processing steps, intraoral uh, X-ray sensor allows us to get such a picture and follow the case after a couple of years to see the extent of my pro progression of my treatment.